We all know what trees look like, we know what their deal is, but the truth be told, no two trees are alike. Some of them are more strange than Stephen. Some trees look like they've been ripped out of the combined imagination of Tim Burton, Guillermo del Toro, and H.P. Lovecraft, and the trees in this video, well, they're even more weird than that. These are the 20 most unusual trees in the world. Number 20. Dead Vlay Trees The area known as Dead Vlay in Namibia is an extraordinarily bizarre looking landscape. It means dead marsh, which is a fairly accurate description of this desiccated and stark environment. The parched earth in the Dead Vlay of Namibia contains no moisture to sustain living things, so all the trees that were once in the area are reduced to blackened skeletal remains. The landscape was created when the clay pan would be formed by the flooded river, and this would create temporary pools that allowed the trees to grow. But when the area was hit by a drought and the climate changed, the surrounding sand dunes moved into the space and blocked the river. The trees died as there were not enough water to sustain the life, and it's believed that this all took place between 600 and 700 years ago. The remains of the trees have been blackened and scorched through the centuries of exposure to harsh sunlight. The landscape that remains in this hostile environment has been used as a location in surreal and nightmarish films like The Cell and The Fall. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Japan is a wonderful place with a whole lot of nature that generates mountains upon mountains of tourism every year. People rush from around the globe to catch a glimpse of Mount Fuji or the cherry blossoms, but one thing they don't come to see, which maybe they should, are these odd trees. Would you believe me if I told you that these two trees had not been carved, but naturally grew like this? Now I don't blame you if you say no, but that's how the urban legend goes. It is remarkable, and while those more spiritually minded have proffered it's the result of some kind of forest sprite tampering with the wind, others think that master carvers are simply doing it in the night, but not admitting it. What do you think though? As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below by using the hashtag SweetTopic. Number 19. Oyamel Fir Trees Oyamel fir trees are a species of evergreen coniferous trees that are native to the high-altitude forests that are found in some parts of Mexico. They've adopted to living in these super harsh mountain environments and have really important jobs in the ecosystem of the entire area. These trees thrive at altitudes ranging from 8,000 to up to 13,000 feet above sea level, and they are kind of amazingly able to withstand the extremely cold temperatures while still keeping their lush green foliage. One of the most significant ecological roles of these trees is as overwintering sites for the monarch butterfly. Each year, millions of monarch butterflies will migrate thousands of miles from Canada and the United States to these forests in Mexico, where they then roost on the trees during the winter months. This crazy phenomenon has made the trees and the forest into really valuable sanctuaries for the butterfly, and their conservation is therefore super important to the survival of the species. Their relationship shows how things in the natural world are codependent and their lives are intertwined. If the trees were to disappear, it's likely that the butterflies would as well, and that would cause the plants that rely on these pollinating insects to suffer and so on and so forth, just like a deadly domino effect. Number 18. The Socatra Dragon Tree This one has a name that sounds as though it may be straight out of the pages of a fairy tale. The Dragon's Blood Tree is an evergreen tree that's only found on Yemen's Socatra Archipelago. It is an ancient and revered tree with a distinct appearance and blood-red sap. No, not the one. On the face? The open umbrella shape of the dragon's blood tree is utterly unique, and the clusters of these trees on this ancient landscape look as if they were conceived in a fantasy film. But the magic of these trees is not only in the astonishing appearance, 
They also bear a deep red oozing resin, which gives the tree the appearance of bleeding, but which also has some unique medicinal properties. The sap has been used to treat all manner of ailments, from ulcers to diarrhea, and it's also famed for its use as a varnish on violins, dyeing wool, glue for pottery, and even as a makeup and toothpaste. This is the only place in the world where this extraordinary species of tree grows, and as the climate changes and the war continues to rage on the mainland, the future of this unbelievable place, for now, looks uncertain. Number 17. The Giant Sequoia Giant sequoia trees are the supermassive conifers that are native to California's Sierra Nevada mountains. And they're some of the largest trees on the planet. They can grow to extreme heights of up to 300 feet with truly gigantic trunks, and these ancient trees can live for over 3,000 years. General Sherman is the largest currently living tree, estimated to be between 2,400 to 2,800 years old, but that doesn't mean that this chap is the biggest ever. Others have indeed been recorded with larger vital statistics, but sadly they are no longer in the alive category. The tree is a giant sequoia, located in the giant forest of the Sequoia National Park in California, General Sherman is officially the largest known single stem tree in the world. The mighty sequoia has an estimated volume of over 52,000 cubic feet and the height of 274.9 feet. Although the tree is not the tallest in the world, it is the largest, as this is measured by its volume and mass rather than by its height. Go figure. General Sherman is pretty special, even though there have been others before him, and there are trees in the world that have grown taller. But the tree is an important thing and a precious piece of natural history within the United States. It does need protecting, though. California wildfires affect huge areas of forest every year, and they can cause untold amounts of damage to ancient woodland. So when there are fires anywhere near the old general, the Forest Service takes extra precautions to protect him and will wrap the tree in aluminum foil. But the trouble is, this snazzy outfit can also make the other trees feel jealous. They simply go green with envy. Number 16. Mangrove Trees Next up we have mangrove trees. The thrills do never end. These are a unique group of trees that thrive in coastal and brackish water environments where few other plants can survive. They're typically found in tropical and subtropical regions around the world. They have an unusual ability to tolerate salt water, and this is achieved through specialized root systems that help to extract oxygen from the waterlogged salty soils. Carbon dioxide equivalents which are traded in the market. These roots and root systems adapt to provide stability and protection against erosion and storm surges, but as well as being good at surviving, mangrove trees do a lot more than their fair share of ecological work. They store massive amounts of carbon, which is super important in mitigating against climate change, and they're also nurseries for many marine species as they provide a sheltered environment for young fish and other sea creatures. The root systems that these trees grow are excellent filters for pollutants, and they're also pretty good at trapping sediment, which means that they can actually clean the water in these coastal areas. As well as all of that awesome work, their mere existence provides a buffer against coastal erosion while helping to reduce the effect of storm surges for coastal communities. The mangrove, well, it's essentially a superhero for the entire coastline. Number 15. The Rainbow Eucalyptus Tree the rainbow eucalyptus is a fast-growing, tall species of tree that easily reaches heights of up to 246 feet and features a diameter of up to around 94 inches. But the size and fast-growingness of this tree is not what makes it stand out from the crowd. What does that is the tremendously colorful bark. The rainbow eucalyptus has smooth orange-hued bark, which peels off in strips, and as it does, it reveals a veritable rainbow of colorful layers beneath. There'll likely be pale green, orange, red, and purple, as the bark is exposed to different stripes of color. This is the most vibrant and interesting in appearance in the natural environment of the rainbow eucalyptus tree, because those trees that are cultivated do not seem to display such bright and varied colors. But in the rainforests of Indonesia, the Philippines, and Papua New Guinea, where the tree is native, the displays are vivid and truly unique. Number 14. Bamboo Loved by pandas and environmentalists alike, bamboo is an extremely versatile plant with many uses and unique characteristics, not to mention that it's one of the fastest growing plants on Earth. 
Some bamboo species can grow to be about 36 inches in a single day, which is wild because you can literally watch it growing. Bamboo can be found all over the world, but has been especially used in Asia, Africa, and the Americas, where it has traditionally been used in construction. Its strength to weight ratio makes it excellent for building, for structures like houses and bridges and scaffolding, and it's also used for making furniture, flooring, and even musical instruments. Beyond being used for construction, bamboo has a wide range of applications. It's used in the textile industry to make fabrics and clothing, and bamboo shoots are a nutritious and popular ingredient in many Asian cuisines. The plant's pulp is used for paper production, and it's an eco-friendly alternative to wood. Bamboo is used for the making of tools, handicrafts, and even as a raw material for biofuel, and moreover, it plays a crucial role in environmental conservation. Its rapid growth and extensive root systems help to prevent soil erosion, promote water conservation, and sequester carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. It's a veritable wonder plant and is so fashionably eco-friendly that you can now find almost anything that you can think of made out of the stuff. Toothbrushes, diapers, and maybe even an electric car. Number 13. Quaking Aspen Tree The quaking aspen tree is a species of deciduous tree that's found for the most part in North America. They have striking white bark, distinctive heart-shaped leaves, and the ability for their leaves to quake or flutter in the wind, hence the name. Aspen trees are often found in large groves or strands due to their ability to reproduce through a network of underground roots, and although it appears to be a mighty forest, this is actually one of the world's largest living organisms. The forest is made out of 47,000 genetically identical quaking aspen trees, all of which stem from one single root system. These trees can reproduce by putting out seeds, but they are more commonly known to send up sprouts from their root system, which form a mass of small trees known as a clone. Known as pando, which is the Latin word for eye spread, this organism has been growing in Utah's Fish Lake National Forest for at least 80,000 years. But sadly, the 107 acres of living forest is also dying. It's been found to be in dramatic decline over the last few decades, and there's a fear that it may not make it. Deer and cattle have been eating the new saplings before the clones are able to fully regenerate, and it's had a dramatic impact on the size and scale of the grove. But really, the problem has been building over the last century. There's a lack of apex predators in the area. Those that used to control the populations of mule deer were aggressively hunted by humans and now do not exist in large enough numbers to keep the deer contained. Also, the cattle that cause the damage are allowed to, by law to graze in the area, despite the damages that it's causing to the historic landscape. A few small adjustments to the way that things are done could have a large and long-lasting impact on this incredible organism before it's too late. Number 12. The Traveler's Tree the Traveler's Tree is a native plant of Madagascar, although the Traveler's Tree is not a true tree but rather a large banana-like plant. However, it's made this list because it's cool. Trees. These trees have a huge fan-shaped leaf that will grow to resemble a giant open fan or a bird's tail, and the clever thing about the tree's plant design is that the leaves can actually reach up to about 10 feet in length. They actually act as natural water reservoirs by collecting rainwater at their base. Travelers and explorers in Madagascar have often relied on these water-filled leaf bases as a source of hydration, hence the name. So if you're ever caught out in Madagascar, you can actually drink in one of these plants. Top tip, you can thank me later. As well as all the useful water collecting properties, these trees are also significant to the culture of Madagascar. Its parts are used in many crafts for making mats, baskets, and hats, and also also some more abstract stuff like in rituals and folklore. Number 11. Wallamy Pine The Wallamy Pine is also sometimes regarded too as a living fossil, but it's one of the world's most rare and ancient tree species. It was discovered in 1994 in a remote rainforest canyon in Wallamy National Park, Australia, and despite its recent so-called discovery, the tree has been doing its thing since time immemorial. Wallamy pines belong to the same family of ancient conifers as the monkey puzzle tree and the bunya pine, 
They have pretty distinct foliage with fern-like dark green leaves arranged in spirals along the branches. But the biggest thing about the wallamy pine is its age. Fossil records suggest that these trees could date back to the time of the dinosaurs, approximately 200 million years ago. That makes them one of the oldest tree species on the planet and gives us some really interesting insights into the Earth's ancient ecosystems. These days, the conservation efforts for the wallamy pine are focused on preserving and protecting the small population of trees that exist in the wild. The location of the original discovery is kept a closely guarded secret in order to prevent potential damages from human interference and disease. They're also attempting to propagate new trees in other places. Number 10. The Maple Tree now, I expect for you to know what a maple tree is, and even if you don't know what it's called, you have likely seen its leaves used in images somewhere at some time. It's even the main part of the Canadian flag. The maple tree is such a beloved symbol of beauty, resilience, and the changing of seasons in many parts of the world, and the term actually encompasses loads of different varieties. Over 100 species of Acer are included in this category. And people, well, they go nuts for the show that these trees put on in the fall. It is pretty Pretty lush to be fair. In the autumn, their leaves will transform into a brilliant array of colors, from fiery reds and oranges to vibrant yellows. The seasonal display attracts tourists and nature enthusiasts alike, making maples a beloved tree species in regions with deciduous forests. These people in America are hilariously referred to as leaf peepers. Maple trees also have fairly major cultural and economic significance. The sugar maple in particular is valued for its sweet sap, which is harvested to make maple syrup an iconic North American product. I mean, what would pancakes even be without it? I shudder to think. Beyond just eating, maple wood is used in furniture, flooring, and musical instruments due to its durability and attractive grain patterns. And of course, these trees are also essential to the environment, providing habitat and food for a variety of wildlife species. But what do you think? Do you appreciate the maple tree? Go ahead and bellow all about it in the comments section down below. Number 9. The Wawona Tree once one of the most famous and photographed trees in all of Yosemite National Park in California, the wagon tree can be found in the Mariposa Grove of giant sequoias and was known for having a tunnel carved through its massive base, allowing vehicles to pass through. Now, much to the delight of the then-booming road trip taking American tourists, it was a massive photo opportunity and they didn't even have Instagram. The tunnel was created in the late 19th century as a means to attract tourism to the grove, which is something that's been regretted in some ways ever since. Over the years, countless tourists have driven through the tree, and they were thrilled by the crazy sight of it. People had more simple needs for their entertainment back then, it would seem. However, in 1969, due to concerns about potential harm being caused by vehicle traffic and environmental degradation, the tunnel would be closed to cars. This tree has remained accessible to pedestrians until it finally fell down during a snowstorm in 2017, marking the end of an era, so that's a bummer. However, you can still go and look at the other really massive trees in the Mariposa Grove, and they are awesome now, aren't they? Number 8. The Angel Oak Tree the Angel Oak Tree is located about 12 miles away from Charleston, South Carolina. This is one of the oldest living oak trees in the South and is considered a real gem in the heart of this historical area. More than 40,000 people visit the Angel Oak each year and they marvel at its age and beauty. Believed to be around 400 years old, Angel Oak has had a long while to grow, so this remarkable tree has reached 66 and a half feet tall, which is approximately the height of a six-story building. The trunk of the mighty oak tree has a tubby circumference of 28 feet and her longest branch measures 187 feet long, so the tree is kind of a big deal. Oh, and one other thing, Angel Oak is said to be haunted. Yes, the tree is bound up in the history of slavery in the area. The legend goes that the bodies of slaves were hung from its branches and vultures would then feast upon them. This is what people believed had caused the curse on the tree in the first place. There's also a story that it was sacred Native American ground and it's led many people to believe that the place is deeply spiritual and that ghostly figures can be seen congregating around its base. Charleston, South Carolina is one of the most haunted places in America 
America and has a ghost story for almost every single one of their historical places. The Angel Oak is at once beautiful and moving, its ancient branches may indeed connect us to times of past and people who have sat in its shade and lived and died beside of it. And that's what a truly amazing place can do, after all. Number 7. Juniper Trees the juniper tree is a hardy evergreen tree that can be found all across the northern hemisphere. There are around 60 to 70 species of junipers, and they're all extremely adaptable, seemingly able to thrive in a whole bunch of different climates and terrains. That sort of bloke, hurrying like that, he'd love these. From arid deserts to high mountain ranges, junipers have needle-like leaves, which are generally colored green, blue-green, or silver-blue, and they often produce small and fleshy cones or berry-like structures. These cones are used to propagate new juniper trees and are also a great source of food for a lot of wildlife, which includes birds and mammals. So, for humans, the juniper is used for the production of juniper berries, which are not really true berries but modified kinds of cones. Juniper berries have a weird and slightly spicy flavor, and they are used as flavoring in all sorts of food and drink, most famously perhaps in the production of gin. Juniper trees also have nice aromatic wood and essential oils, which have been used in traditional medicine and as a fragrance in perfumes and cosmetics. As well as these practical things, the juniper has also been part of a various amount of traditions in different cultures. They've been associated with protection, purification, and warding off evil spirits, but they also play a vital role in stabilizing soils, preventing erosion, and providing habitat and food for wildlife, which makes them an essential part of many ecosystems, and that is no doubt the true source of their popularity all throughout history. Number 6. Ceiba pentendra one of the largest trees in the American tropics, the silk cotton tree, has long been of great significance in the lives of people who live within the region. These massive deciduous trees are fast growing and regularly reach heights of 80 feet or more. the largest one being measured in at 240 feet tall. The name of the tree is derived from the fruits that it bears. These oval-shaped fruits contain a lot of seeds, which are surrounded by a dense pad of cotton-like fibers. When the fruits ripen, these fibers will then rain down from the trees, thus giving the trees the name of silk cotton. In Asia, the stuff is known as kapok and is used in many different ways, often as insulation and padding in quilts and flotation devices, or for pillows and mattresses. As well as the fibers, the tree's flowers are considered to be an important source of nectar for bees and bats, and it's actually the bats that do most of the pollinating of these night-blooming trees. And then there are the additional folklore elements that surround the tree. Its bark is used in a traditional aphrodisiac concoction, and the tree is featured heavily in ancient Maya mythology. The tree is still considered to be sacred in some places in South America today. Number 5. Baobab Trees The baobab tree can grow to become absolutely massive. These colossal things can actually grow to be over 100 feet tall and may have trunks with a diameter as fat as 33 feet. That's a sizable waistband measurement indeed. Native to the island of Madagascar, to the mainland continent of Africa, and also to Australia, this tree is one of the classic shapes on the African landscape in particular. These large and interestingly shaped trees can also be found in many parts of Asia, where they've been introduced over time. These trees may grow to be very old. There is a tree in Madagascar which has been named Grandmother, and she's estimated to be a remarkably spry 1600 years old. This tree is a useful and valuable source of food, both the leaves and the fruit of the tree are edible, and they're often used in cooking as leaf vegetables. The fruit of the tree varies in flavor depending upon the species, and for example, the white pith of the tree in Australia has a tart citrus flavor known to taste like sherbet. In Angola, the dried fruit of the tree is often boiled and then used for juice and desserts, but in Zimbabwe, the fruit is often eaten fresh or even stirred into porridge and then added into drinks. Number 4. Kaikomako Kaikomako is a red cedar conifer tree from New Zealand. The evergreen tree belongs to the cypress family and has slender, upright growth and lovely smelling wood. It's delightful, I'm sure, but what else can it do? Well, these seem like regular tree things to me. This tree can reach 100 feet tall and have narrow, needle-like leaves that are dark green and arranged in flattened sprays. 
Their bark is reddish brown and will peel off in lovely satisfying strips to reveal a smooth surface underneath. The wood of the tree is highly valued for its durability and fine grain, and as a result of this, it's a sought after material for construction, furniture, and even boat building. This tree is considered sacred by the indigenous people of New Zealand, and there are many beliefs that surround it, but mainly they just involve spiritual and healing properties. Pretty important stuff. Its bark is often used in traditional medicines as well as ceremonially, and of course, as a tree, it has a massively important role to the natural environment as well. It is a home and food source for many native birds and mammals as well as a whole boatload of insects. But unfortunately, like many things we see today, it is at risk. The tree is under threat by everything from introduced pests and diseases to habitat loss from encroaching human activity. Number 3. The Silver Birch The silver birch's elegant appearance and striking white bark, which peels in thin, papery layers, gives it a silvery gray sheen, and that, my friends, is where its name comes from. Because this tree is very pretty and unusually colored, people like to plant it for all of the usual ornamental reasons. Silver birch trees generally grow up to about 50 to 80 feet with a slender pyramid-type shape when young, and they gradually develop to a more rounded canopy as they get older. The leaves are small and green and serrated, turning a beautiful golden yellow in the fall, which provides a stunning display of autumn foliage for all of those leaf peepers. Lots of animals, birds, and insects make their home in these trees. It's especially important for European peacock butterfly larvae. Such a glamorous job, but someone has to do it. The wood has been used for generations to make everything from floors to furniture and even paper, and in Nordic countries, the silver birch is associated with many myths and legends believed to have some properties that connect it to renewal, purification, and protection. Number 2. The Cori Tree The Cori Tree is an iconic coniferous species that is native to New Zealand and one of the world's largest and longest-lived trees. It holds immense ecological, cultural, and historical significance. They grow to a colossal size, with some of them reaching 160 feet and a trunk diameter exceeding 16 feet. Some of these trees are estimated to be over a thousand years old, which makes them amongst the longest living trees on Earth. Their timber is highly prized for its quality and durability and has been used for various purposes, including shipbuilding, construction, and carving. These days, the tree faces threats from soil-borne pathogens which cause Cori dieback disease. Strict biosecurity measures are being implemented to combat this threat while preserving the tree for the future. Number 1. The Eureka Palm Tree The Eureka Palm, or Butterfly Palm, or even Bamboo Palm, is a palm tree, duh, from Madagascar and other places in the Indian Ocean. These palms typically grow to be six or seven feet indoors and are used for a lot of landscaping stuff, but they can also reach 20 feet when planted in their natural outdoor habitat. These plants sometimes in the smaller uh, houses and yards that we have. They have a distinctive tropical look that you would imagine when you think of a palm tree, and they're really good at purifying the air. They're effective at removing indoor pollutants such as formaldehyde, benzene, and others, and I'm now worried why there's even formaldehyde just randomly in the air in my place. I best go buy a palm tree for myself. That'll definitely fit in my tiny house. Well, that's all from the world of amazing trees. Which one blew you away the most? Let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things on the screen, and I'll see you next time.